COVID testing has picked up again after a couple of weeks of being slow. Public health data analyst Vince Campo shared why. When it came Monday on 1227, we had a large jump in testing. And we don't normally see something like this unless there is a reason why, right? Lots of symptomatics um, or people are flooding our testing sites. And so a good example is our T10 outreach testing is only from Monday, Wednesday, or sorry, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Because we were closed on Friday, Saturday, the, the only time that we were testing was Wednesday from last week and then Monday this week. So that was a four day gap. And um, that's why we would see a lot of this past Monday on that 43 cases. Campo detailed how many symptomatic people popped up over the weekend. So we had eight on the 24th, we had four on the 25th, and then the 26th, we had 10. So that's uh, about 22 people who were feeling symptoms, right? And they could not get tested unless they ad admitted themselves to the hospital or these urgent care facilities, right? And don't forget that they got tested on the 27th. And so people also waking up on the 27th feeling symptomatic, rushed to go get tested for COVID-19, kind of resulting in that big, um, that big spike that we do see. Campo shared there were three reasons for the uptick in COVID cases. The first being the holiday season with all the gatherings and celebration. The second is limited testing over the holidays. And lastly, the travel cases from people coming into the island. When asked if residents should be worried about the rising car score. Definitely, it is something to be wary of if the car score, as the car score goes up. But I do want to warn against um, kind of jumping to conclusions uh, just because the CAR score is very, it's a very tricky metric. It's very sensitive to cases and test positivity. So we do have to wait out. So if we see kind of a big spike like this, our CAR score is going to jump and it's going to jump continuously for maybe the next week. And definitely by the next, um, by next week, um, we should have a better picture of what transmission in the uh, in the community looks like. Campo warns island residents to not be holiday hoppers, meaning residents shouldn't hop from one party to another. He also reiterated the three W's and getting boosters and vaccines to mitigate the spread of COVID. Daniel Perez reporting for Guam's News Network.